How's it going guys, Ultra Black C here, and we are getting into these other two Ultra Bakugan from the new Wave 3 uh, line of the Battle Planet figures. Um, we are starting off with an Orlis Fangzor, and of course the uh, main guy, the main boy, uh, Dragonoid Ultra in Pyrus. So of course he is labeled with just Dragonoid on the packaging, I always thought that was kind of a cool deal. And now finally, the uh, package art that they kind of throw onto everything makes sense, because it is him. Uh, but the Fangzor also gets uh, his own uh, stuff up here, so that's pretty cool. And he is labeled as a one difficulty because he is really easy to close. It's really nice. Um, but we're going to go ahead and bust these two guys open, and we're going to show them to you in great detail right now. All right, guys, we're back, and we got these two guys open. These are two of my favorite Ultras from the set, or the, this wave uh, particularly. That's why I got this one. Uh, this is one of the singles. Um, there's a Darkest one that's a single... Uh, I didn't pick that one up yet. I might get it later when they come to my local Walmarts. Uh, I had to go out of town to get these guys. So um, let's go ahead and start off with Fangzor. Uh, Fangzor Ultra. Go ahead and get that stuff up for his Evo too. Um, we know what this one is. Huh? We know what this one is. Well, we know what it is. But uh, Fangzor Ultra. We get a red shield and a red fist. So double reds here. And 700B. So uh, pretty stout. And then three attack. So that's not awful at all. Especially for an Oralus. That's a good little starting Bakugan for you. Um, and what's his evos do? Uh, 10 cost, uh, Maximus Fangzor Ultra. Yep, it's a Bakugan Elite. It's if very you nice. have 20 or more cards in your discard pile, you may play this card for free. Yeah, and how much does it normally cost? 10. Yeah, so. 1500B, 10 attack. Right, so he gets a huge boost out of that, and then you can also play him for free. Uh, amongst us, we are deliberating whether or not it's a good card to play. Uh, mm. so I picked it up just to see so we could try. Uh, and also it comes with a flip card. I'm not happy about that. Uh, stop chaos. Whatever, man. Uh, flip card there. <laughs> Let's check out the cores. We've got the red fist here. It's a plus six uh, red fist. So uh, pretty decent red fist there if you're going for uh, those big hits. And then a red shield here for plus 100. So that um, sucks. All right. So uh, here he is. Let's take a good look at him. We've seen a Fangzor before here on the channel, but this one has a very nice coloration to him. It's the Orlis coloration, so we have black accents, he has black uh, cobra eyes there, whatever you want to call them. And on his head he has the same deal, and some black accents here on the silver, which is very nice to see. And the back of his tail is all silver, so he is looking very fine. Let's check him out in ball form, because we all know he rolls up easy. You just pull his tail down, close it in there, and then boom, boom, boom. So there he is, looking very nice, and uh, he opens in a very fun way too. If uh, Oh god. Alright, well, you know, I always have trouble with this. Okay. Uh, we're gonna try one more time. Alright, there we go. And he flips up and he catches it on his head, and there you go. So, uh, very cool Bakugan there. If you don't have an Ultra Fangs or go get you one, because you can also like do this thing, and it's it's really addicting and really fun. So Alright, uh prime time stuff here. We have Dragonoid Ultra. Um Let's just go ahead and look at his cores real quick. They are the best cores for each core in the game. So uh, these are very nice. So you get the 650 blue shield and the 250 plus 3 red fist. Those are your best options for both of those classes of cores. Uh, so he's a very good thing here. And he's also just very good in general. He's 5'5". Five, five. So uh, 500B and 5 attack. Great art on him. You've all seen the art, but uh, now you get to see it on the card and hold it in your hands. Uh, and we have this card that came with him, Implosion. It's a six cost, uh, destroy an enemy energy card, one enemy, <laughs> enemy energy card, and if you have Fury, no cards in your hand, you destroy two energy cards instead. Uh, so I don't like this card, and it's also really bent. Uh, not very happy with that, uh, but I'm not gonna use it. So you know what, there you go. All right, so let's look at him. Uh, we've seen him before on the channel, Obviously, I was lucky enough to receive the limited Dragonoid set. Um, you saw that. He's got his little fold-out arms here. So you grab them, push them out front. You can kind of hang them there so they look a little better. Push them out, and here we are. This is Ultra Dragonoid in all his glory. Looks really cool. His head moves around. His feet have a really good tickle to him, if you're into that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we have a little wing tickle, too. That's kind of new, but... Mm. Anyway, uh, he's got his uh, red uh, core thing in the middle, of, uh, green, uh, colorblind here, core thing in the middle there, uh, green accents on his knees, and looking very nice. And, uh, yeah, uh, he's a very cool looking Bakugan. They did a really good job designing the 
the you know basically the main character here. So uh, this is our blue eyes white dragon of Bakugan, basically. Um, just a little uh, little comparison. I'm not flexing here. I promise. I just wanted to show you guys. But uh, the limited limited edition here. Um, only differences really are kind of the painting on his head here. He has his little horns painted and the paint in his like thighs there. It's not filled in, but you guys can do that yourselves because we are allowed to edit our own Bakugan. He has a lot of like panels here that you can actually panel line and maybe paint to uh, make him look a little better. Panel line, not edit. Wait, what? Panel line, just don't make it. No, you can paint. You can paint as long as it still looks like a pirate's Bakugan. Oh. Yeah, you can do whatever you want as long as it is I face am, value a pirate's Bakugan. I am wrong. Yeah, so. <laughs> Anyway, there you go. Uh, let's roll him up. Um, he is interesting when he's rolled up. So feet come in, roll his feet back, kind of tro uh, Trox, Ultra, oops, Trox Ultra style. Uh, roll him back, head in, pop that tail around, and close in his wings there. And then this tail locks everything in at the bottom. And there you go. Um, again, interesting that he does have these little wings here. Um, I don't know. It's... Just don't shank them. Don't roll them to the side because it's going to fly somewhere. Uh, and then there's also been uh, sayings that he does kind of flip the cores off of him very easy. So we'll see if this one does it or if we have a pretty decent magnet here. Um, let's see if I can do a first try. Let's take bets. Anyone? Nope? All right. Yep. Good call. Uh, <laughs> try one more time. Over, under, three times. Under. All right. Oh, yes. Anybody... Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, that, that was, was a, three. It was kind of a crappy opening, but he did keep the core on. So uh, there is Ultra Dragonoid. This is a very strong magnet. I just kind of showed it in the uh, limited edition one, uh, but this it's very sticky. You can you can hear it activating there. So um, good Bakugan here. Uh, definitely recommend picking this up. Uh, and evolution wise, he has a Hyper Dragonoid Ultra for like really cheap, and it goes up from five five to eight eight. So uh, he's uh, pretty versatile, pretty cool for Pyrus. Oh, yeah. Two um, costs. Yeah, two cost to get that up there. So uh, very good Bakugan here. But uh, there you have it, guys. That is our Ultras that we picked up from this set in the uh, singles. Um, I also have a couple three, uh, three? Three. three packs coming up and, uh, and also a five pack coming up with uh, the special uh, Pyrus Halcor that is very nice. Uh, but other than that, guys, make sure you leave a like down there. Uh, Subscribe if you haven't yet. We've got a lot of Bakugan content coming at you. New set, new wave, a lot of new stuff to talk about. So we'll see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.